Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to download and install MySQL 8.0.30. Along with MySQL Server, I will be showing you installation of MySQL Workbench as well as MySQL Shell. So let's start the video. You can open any of your favorite browser and just type MySQL download. And now here you can see the official website that is mysql.com. Just click on this link mysql downloads. Okay, it has redirected me to download page. Just scroll down. Here is option mysql community GPL downloads. So just click on this link. You can see it is showing me different MySQL community downloads. It is showing me different connectors, different repository. If you want to install MySQL server for Windows, you can just click on this link. If you want to install for any other operating system, you can just click on this link, MySQL community server. So here you can see it is showing me MySQL community server 8.0.30. And here are the list of options available for different operating system. So you can use this option, even you can install for Windows using this option or there is a specific installer available for Windows. So I'm selecting MySQL installer for Windows. Okay, here it is showing me MySQL 8.0.30 and from operating system it is showing me Windows. So you can see it is showing me two downloads. The first one is MySQL installer web community. We have MySQL installer for community like you can download it and you can run it later on. So I'm going to select this option. The file size is 448 MB. So I'll just click on download button. And now here you don't have to log in or sign up. You can just click on no thanks, just start my download. Okay, so now you can see my download has been started. So my download is done. Now I'm going to click on this installer to install my MySQL. Let me minimize my browser. Now it is asking me permission. So I'm going to click on yes button. Okay, so this is MySQL installer and it is showing me different setup options. So developer, server, client, full and custom. If you are selecting full, then you will be getting various products. I don't want to install all this product. So I will be clicking on this custom option. So now here I'm going to click on next button. Here it is showing me different product available. So from the first category that is MySQL server, just expand this and select this MySQL server 8.0.30 x64 and just click on this arrow button. And now in application, we have MySQL Workbench. So I will be installing Workbench also. So again, MySQL Workbench 8.0.30. Again, I will be adding this to my product to be installed list. And then now lastly, I will be selecting MySQL Shell. So again, let me select this and click on this arrow. So these are the product which I'm interested in installing. So now I'm going to click on next button. Here it is showing me ready to install. So let me install this by clicking on execute button. Okay, so the installation of product has been started. We'll wait. Hey guys, my product has been installed. Now it will be product configuration. So I will be clicking on next button. Okay, so here it is showing me MySQL server ready to configure. So few configuration is required. For example, setting the password of root user, all that configuration we have to do. So let me click on next button for that. Okay, so now here it is showing me the port number. The default port number for MySQL server is 3306. So on this port number, MySQL server will run. If you want to change, you can change it. I'm not changing and keeping default and clicking on next button. Now here it is asking me authentication method, whether you want password authentication or you want legacy authentication. So I'm taking password authentication. Let me click on next button. Here it is asking you password for the root user. So whatever password you want to provide, you just provide and just remember the password. So I'm just providing password. Here it is showing me password strength as weak. You can provide strong password, no problem. Here there is an option for creating user account. If you want to add any user, you can just click on this add user and you can give the name to user and you can select from here as a local host and role will be admin. Okay, and this password for user. I'm not creating any user. I'm going to use my root user only. So I'm just clicking on this cancel button. And now here after providing password, I will be clicking on next button. So now this uh, window is for setting the window services. So your MySQL will run with a name MySQL AT in your Windows services. 
and here is a check mark so what it will do whenever your system will start your mysql services will also start you don't have to change anything over here so let's click on next button okay now this is apply configuration window so all this configuration will be applied i'll just click on execute button configuration of mysql is done now it is asking me to click on finish button so let's do that here it's showing me product configuration is completed now the last step is installation complete so for that i'm going to click on next button okay so now here we have option start mysql workbench after setup start mysql shell after setup so if you want to start workbench and shell you can select this or you can deselect this so i don't want to start shell i want to start workbench because i would like to show you how you can use workbench also so now i will be clicking on finish button Okay, so you can see your workbench has been started and here you can see it is showing you MySQL AT which is nothing but your instance name and it is running on port number 3306 under the user root. MySQL workbench provides graphical interface where you can write your queries. So before explaining MySQL workbench, I'll just show you few things. So let me just open command prompt. So I'm just going to type CMD and here now I'm just typing mysql hyphen hyphen version so you can see it is showing me mysql is not recognized as internal or external command so i need to set path of mysql in my environmental variable so i'll just go to my c drive and here i'm going to program files and now i will be going to mysql mysql server 8.0 bin so just copy this path and now you can type env over here and just click on edit by system environment variable okay let me minimize rest of the thing in advanced tab i have a button environment variable so let me click on this and now under system variable i will be adding the path of this mysql be selecting this path variable and then i'll click on edit button and here i need to click on new button and i'll just paste the copied path and then i'll click on okay okay and one more time okay okay now i will be opening command prompt for checking whether it is showing me the version or not so here i am going to type mysql hyphen hyphen version again so you can see it is showing me mysql 8.0.30 and the community server gpl so your mysql server has been installed successfully now there are three ways to access your mysql server one is through command prompt another is through workbench and another way is mysql command line so i will be showing you all the three ways and now here i am going to log into mysql so for that i will be typing mysql okay let me just increase the phone now i will be typing mysql hyphen u root hyphen u is for user and then hyphen p is for password and just press enter it is asking me password so i'm going to enter my password so i think i entered wrong password so i need to run this command again so i'm just going to enter password again okay so it has accepted the password and here you can see the command prompt has changed to mysql so now whatever command you want to execute you can execute from command prompt also like i'll just execute one command show databases so it's showing me databases this is one way so i'm not using command prompt i will be showing you another way also okay now let's start mysql command line client so in search you can type command and then here you can get the option as mysql command line client if you are not getting through search you can just go here and you can just go to your products so mysql and here you can see mysql command line client is there I'm going to just enter my password okay so you can see it has got connected to mysql so now you can create your table you can create your database you can fire your queries over here now i will be quickly showing you by writing few commands that it is working properly so first of all i will be creating a database so create database cs corner semi okay so my database is created now i will be showing all the available database so for that i am going to write command show databases and now you can see it is showing me my database cs corner in this i will be creating a simple table so for that i will be writing use cs corner okay so my database has been changed now i am going to create a simple table so create now you can describe your table so desk student 
Okay, so you can see the table has also been created. So this way you can access your command line client. Now the third option is your MySQL Workbench. So let me go to MySQL Workbench. So just click on this local instances and here it will ask you password. So just enter the password which you provided during installation and you can click on OK button. If you want to type any command, you can type commands over here also. For example, I'm typing show databases. Okay, and just select this and run the query. So you can see it is showing me my database also. So this way you can install MySQL and you can use it for creating your databases and table. I hope this video has helped you in installing MySQL on your machine. If yes, then don't forget to hit on like button. And if you have any kind of query, you can put in comment box. I will surely reply to your queries. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also press the bell icon to receive notifications. Thank you guys for watching this video till end. I'll see you in my next video. Till that, bye-bye and take care.